And to take a close look at this entire issue, we're now being joined by two of the top legal and judicial brains in this country. We have been joined by Mr. Fali Nariman, constitutional expert and one of the people who has really, in a sense, almost been leading the charge against uh, Justice Dinakaran. And we also have with us uh, former Chief Justice of India, Mr. Uh, Mr. B. N. Kare. It's a great pleasure to have uh, both of you with us. Uh, Fali Nariman, if I can just start with you. You clearly one of the people who's been the most upset about the uh, elevation of, uh, of Justice Dinakaran. What's the main substance of the complaint uh, or your complaint against uh, Justice Dinakaran? I had personally no complaint because I don't know this man and uh, nor have I appeared before him. But I am a sort of elder spokesman of a very large group of lawyers who were practicing in Madras and uh, who had bitterly complained and made all sorts of complaints about him, about which I knew nothing. But when I conveyed this to the Honorable Chief Justice, myself and uh, Mr. Shantibhushan, uh, and we said that this at least look in, uh, needs some inquiry, the Chief Justice was very gracious enough to say that, yes, uh, keep this paper here, I will look into it. And uh, fortunately, he has looked into it, for which I think uh, I am, I am uh, deeply grateful. Now, what ultimately happens uh, is a matter now between the judges, uh, the president, and uh, the particular person concerned. But I am more concerned, uh, Vikram, uh, having practiced here continuously for the last uh, 20 five, thirty years now in the Supreme Court uh, for the image of the court. Uh, all right, sir, Justice Bian Kare, what is your sense of what, from whatever you're hearing, whatever you're reading, do you think there's enough evidence against the uh, Chief Justice of Karnataka, Mr. Dina Karan, to prevent him from being elevated? What is your reading of the specific charges against him? Ma'am, I must tell you, first let us see what is the nature of the office that a judge hosts either a Chief Justice of the High Court or the Judge of the High Court or Supreme Court. He holds very high office or a constitutional high office. And for that reason, there is no character role is maintained for the, character, uh, for the judges. No annual remark is given to his work, conduct or any other thing. Because he is known by his own reputation, by, by his own work, conduct and character. The people of the country, the bar, everyone is the, are the judges of judges. If you go to the court, you find uh, so, that uh, this is a so judge, justice, uh, the, the, yeah, judge is known by his own reputation. So, Justice Kare, if I can take the point you're trying to make, it is very important for judges to have a completely spotless reputation because, I mean, the question of who's going to judge the judges is obviously the most important one. Yes. So, in the specific case of Justice Dina Karan, have you been following this case at all and what is your reading of the sort of charges now, that I have been made against I do not know you? that Judge, judge my, in my time there are many matters such as sir, these matters came before me. I took resignation from many judges. What, uh, what is Chief Justice required that if any such allegation comes because what we want a clean man in the bar, uh, at the bench. So okay. if such allegation has come, the Chief Justice and Collegium should make an inquiry against him. If it is found that the charges are established, then of course the recommendation should be withdrawn. In case it is found that it is motivated or it is uh, unsubstantiated, then of course the uh, recommendation should be maintained. But in any case, it requires for inquiry. When a serious charges like this have come, it requires an inquiry and thorough inquiry either by the Chief Justice himself or he may constitute a committee of three judges or two judges right. who may go, through, uh, go into this matter and uh, give the report to the Collegium.